This is a video on how to root your Samsung Galaxy S5, the AT&T version, SM, SM900A. Uh, previously, you could use towel root to root, uh, to root your Samsung Galaxy S5, but that method no longer works. But you still require towel root to actually root your phone. And XDA developers actually has an instruction on how to do this method, how to use this method. And I'll quickly go over it. So first, uh, let's go online and download Towel Root. It's always the first link, Towel Root. It's going to say your connection is not private or it's not safe. You can always bypass that by going to advanced. Proceed to towelroot.com. Now you hit on the lambda. Oh, by the way, you also need ES uh, downloader. You could go on the Play Store and download the ES Downloader or the File Explorer. And the File Explorer comes with the ES Downloader. So you download download using ES Downloader. I would do it just once. And it'll automatically download it. Since I already have it, I'm going to cancel. Or oh, it did not work. I right, copy it. It made another copy. So you would want to go ahead and uh, run the installation for towel root. Install towel root. It'll say it has a new update. Go ahead and do that. Yes, you understand. You'd click install anyway. I already have this on the system, so I'm not going to do that. After that, I'll give you a done or open option if you actually have it downloaded. Once you have a towel root downloaded, Let's go uh, back into Google Chrome again, or Internet Explorer, whichever one works for you. So you would go into the XDA developer page. I'll have the link uh, in the description. So within the XDA developer page, it gives you step-by-step -step instruction. So you would, uh, you can read through it. It's a stake the NG3 OTA update. So first we did we complete the we completed the second step installing towel root APK. Now um, you also want to have your uh, the kernel downloaded, the G900A ND3 stock kernel. After you have the stock kernel downloaded, you will also need Odin. Any version of Odin will work. Uh, I used Odin, uh, Odin 3, V307. So you would go ahead and click on that link, download the kernel. I'm going to go back. Once you have your kernel downloaded, you will go into um, Odin and within Odin a 
sorry that it's not on full screen but um, in Odin you would click PDA or in the newer versions they have um, I believe AP so you would uh, check the box for Odin at uh, the PDA and find the file within your computer wherever you placed it and this step-by-step -step instruction is pretty thorough so um, and it's pretty easy to follow so once you have software package or the kernel downloaded you would go into download mode on your phone and you would do that by pressing your volume down button first home key and power key the last you always want to do power key the last otherwise you might accidentally switch on your phone oh, by the way do make sure that your phone is turned off otherwise you won't get into download mode so turn it off and then use this process so once you're in download mode you would have you would want to press volume up button it'll give you that instruction and after you you get into download mode and you press the volume up button go ahead and connect your uh, phone to your computer uh, once it's connected uh, with an Odin you'll either get a yellow or a blue box right about here and once you have uh, the the kernel uploaded into your Odin you can go ahead and start it the process should it should be pretty fast it might only take like a minute or two and your phone should automatically reboot once it reboots you'll follow the next step you'll open towel root and if you don't have towel root installed go ahead and install it and then open it then hit make it rain and it should root your phone automatically within a couple of seconds XDA developers actually suggest that you uh, go through the download mode again but I didn't really find a need to but I think it'd be better if you did that so you cycle through the same process once more except um, yeah you would do basically do the same thing again and after that you would uh, install after you complete the process of flashing the kernel again and after the, your phone reboots go ahead and download a super su from the play store and we'll do that right now To verify that you have successfully rooted your phone, you can download the Root Checker app and I'll do a quick demo of that. So after you have the Root Checker app downloaded, you can hit Verify, Verify Root Access. And after you have the Super S you downloaded, it'll ask you to grant permission. And once you grant the permission, it should say, congratulations, you have rooted your phone successfully. Now go ahead and open up SuperSU and opening up SuperSU will uh, disable your Knox, this is uh, a Samsung um, security setting and disabling your Knox will also um, disable the warning that you get that your system has been tampered with and it should look something like this. And once you disable your Knox with SuperSU, 
you should be good to go. Following this process should have successfully rooted your Samsung Galaxy S5, the unlocked version of AT&T, the SM900A. And if you found this method and this video um, useful, please give it a thumbs up. And you're more than welcome to subscribe for more of these kind of instructional videos. Thank you.